name is Sean Hill, and we're back to Let's Be Whole, where you can feel whole mind, body, and soul. Joining us now are two music entrepreneurs, Aaron Shaw from the music group Black Nile and producer Dwayne Washington. Black Nile is a sound of mixture of, of its jazz, its hip hop, its soul, its R&B, and rock. They have traveled the world and performed with artists such as Herbie Hancock, Sheila E., L. Varner, and Jackson Brown. Dwayne Washington, which is also, he's the CEO of the multimedia company, 31 Live. He has produced songs for R&B artist Black Bear on the EP Cashmere Noose. Cashmere Noose charted number one on iTunes R&B charts. Dwayne has produced and developed several artists under his company, 31 Live. So oh man, um, well this was in high school. I was in uh, 10th grade. And yeah, this was at View Park High School, so I was in 10th grade. What grade were you in there? I was like, what was that, 7th grade? 7th grade, yeah. yeah so, High school. Yeah, oh so we God. were in a jazz <laughs> band together, and, yeah. um, and like we were just starting, you know, music. And like amongst the group of like jazz musicians in our band, we were like, we were like part of a group that like really took it serious. So that's kind of like how we clinged on. Right. Even though I was like older and already in high school, he was still in middle school. Yeah. Like he was in our high school jazz band, you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. we kind of yeah. like just formed a bond like that. And since then, like we've just been working ever since and been friends. Yeah. And, and then uh, who was the, the main idea, like maker that sparked the group? Like how did that come about? Uh, I don't know, it was just gradual. I mean, we just kept working and working just towards this one idea that we had this project that we had in mind and then uh just from there we were like oh we should just definitely become a group because yeah. we're putting our like all of our energy all of our creative energy into right. this one thing so why not yeah <laughs> sounds simple enough yeah. so yeah. you just wanted to make it happen you started making it happen yeah, yeah exactly um, and what what kind of um challenges did you guys first have in starting it uh i guess the direction uh at first we we had um because we just had so many ideas about how we wanted our our vision to be created mm. uh, musically with like the the videos and like yeah. the production and like just the live show and right. so it was just like a lot that we had to try to narrow down, narrow down like, yeah. on paper yeah. like yeah you know, so that was like definitely one of the first challenges just when it comes to like creating like the product like okay what exactly are we going to do here you know what I'm saying yeah. and how is it going to work and be able to like translate to everyone you know what i'm saying yeah. it's like when you do because like we do like all types of music you know so right. it's like when you have like all these thoughts that's like a struggle you know what i'm saying like yeah. getting that that focus in and honing in like exactly what you want to do to like make change and like having like substance and getting like a yeah. message across like that's really like and then once you get that then it's just fun making music it's just yeah. like yeah we got the we got the goal so we're just gonna keep creating so for those music entrepreneurs out there, what was like a couple tips you could give us that actually helped you focus on your main theme or your main messages that tied everything else together? Patience. Patience. For sure. Yeah, yeah patience is like definitely a virtue, right? Like, yeah, definitely. Especially with music, like, because sometimes you'll get creative sparks. Like, we'll get creative, like, one day we'll, you know, we'll just maximize our energy, and then the next day we'll be kind of like, fatigued from mm. that day before so we'll have yeah. to try to figure out certain ways you know and it'll, it'll be frustrating at times but then we'll be like well this is a bigger purpose this is going to take a lot more time than you know than we don't even know the amount of time that we're going to finish the project but right. we know that this is our goal this is our purpose mm -hmm. so let's keep working towards it even if we're not coming up with ideas right away you know it's yeah. just going to yeah. take time it's going to take the time that it needs to take yeah. You know, but the good thing about that, though, is that um, when that happens, life gets involved. And life mm -hmm. is definitely uh, one of the biggest byproducts of music that reaches people. Right. You know, um, not having that life uh, relationship with people, not being able to relate with people, like, from a, just life without the music, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't connect as well. So when you have that breathing time that, uh, to allow life into the music it makes just man it just makes the world of difference with yeah. what you hear and like how you're feeling and the type of emotion that you're able to bring mm -hmm. into the music. music yeah definitely yeah and it's like um wow. one thing that's key is definitely like just realizing that it's like it's just like the ultimate journey you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's like the ultimate leap of faith it's like you don't you know you, you have no idea what's on the other yeah. side you know so it's like just 
just doing, just being patient and sticking with it, you know, that's like one of the main key things that you have to have first. Like, so patience with yourself, with, with the other yourself, people in the group. With the other right. people in the group. Giving yourself that time. And just necessary. knowing that it takes time, you know, yeah. and it's not, not rushing it, you know, and just letting the process, like trusting the process and letting it develop, you know, into what it's going to be. And enjoying it. And enjoying, enjoying it. it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You get to enjoy it too. You get to enjoy yeah, it yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, what's one of the like biggest things you've enjoyed so far in, in this whole music journey you guys have been a part of? Um, I I think definitely for me, um, seeing middle school, like he was talking about, I was in a high school band, mm -hmm. like in middle school. So, just being around all high school uh, students, like when I was like in sixth and seventh grade, was yeah. like uh, I had to grow up real quick. Um, so getting a chance to travel with the band that we traveled, we went to Brazil yeah. uh, first year and then uh, second year we went to Spain together uh, and then uh, my eighth grade year we went to Cuba. Yeah. So just getting to see how music impacted people. Wait, you were, you were in the eighth grade going to Cuba? Yeah, 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 it was legally okay. too. Yeah. Legal. That was the thing, yeah. like I was yeah. in Miami yeah. airport, wow. like, you know what I mean, like, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, 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 it was, but seeing the impact that it had on people was like, this is what I want to do for the rest yeah. of my life. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, I don't care if I go broke. Right. Yeah, I don't yeah. care about anything Definitely. in life. Definitely. Like yeah. as long as I have music with me, as long as I have my yeah, saxophone, as long as I have some good. type of outlet to be able to create something and then here listen to this and then see their faces yeah. you yeah. know glisten up and then just see the reaction of people that yeah that, that, it, that was that was I definitely that. the trip yeah. that um that did it for me too the trip to spain yeah because yeah. like when, when we play like those clubs just seeing like that's when i really you know how they say music's universal language mm -hmm. that's when i really saw like because like after the show they were we just trying <laughs> We, we, they didn't know any anything we were saying, but right. they just, all they were saying was encore, encore, you know what I'm saying? I'll wow. never forget that. And that's what like solidified it for me. I'm like, okay, yeah. like I'm out here in Barcelona, another country <laughs> with my friends. And it's like, we're communicating through people that we can't talk to with right. our instruments. Like, yeah. so that was like so cool, you know what I'm Absolutely saying? universal yeah. language, y'all. Yeah, 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 it's a beautiful thing. And yeah, I, to know that at this age, like yeah. it's really impressive. And yeah. that's why... Um, I notice how important it is for all these young entrepreneurs out there to really understand mm -hmm. that you can be any age and have the patience and and the guidance and the and kind of just the necessary tools to make any kind of dream happen. Right? Yeah, exactly. That exactly. sounds exactly. amazing, y'all. Yeah. And then yeah. the, tell me just real quick about the Sheila E story. Like, what Sheila E? Oh yeah, that was uh, uh, legendary. So like, Google her if you don't know Sheila E. <laughs> well, okay. first yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Fernando Pullum because he was mm. the one that put us in the band yeah. and mm -hmm. gave us those opportunities to travel and see the world. And then yeah. he would definitely help us when we were outside of school, you know, when we weren't with him anymore, you know, when mm -hmm. we were splitting apart. He went to college, I went to a different high school and stuff like that. Yeah. We still kept in contact. We're, we're trying to help him with the community center and stuff like that. So he was the one that um, gave us that gig. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, you know, he always tried to put us thank in. Thank you, Fernando. Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so Fernando much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But, um, yeah, he yeah. always put us in situations, like real situations, because he knew that we had this desire yeah. to uh, be musicians. And he, so he just tried to put it, like, put, try to put us in the best situations yeah. possible. Yeah. yeah you know? So did you guys know who Sheila E was when you were like, yeah, oh, man, yeah, 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 okay. yeah definitely. Yeah. Did you yeah. cry? Did one of you cry? Like, no, I was just, give me one snap. I didn't, I don't, I didn't know what to say. I, yeah. you know, I was just. It's funny. It's a few. Uh, yeah. It's a few people that we met where it was like I didn't know who they were. It was over. Remember when we uh, did the John Lennon thing? Yeah. Uh, oh man. What's, uh, what's his show, wife? Yeah. Uh, um, I've Yoko. been to Nam before. Yeah. Yeah. Yoko Ono. Yoko ono. I yeah. had no idea who that was, and like wow. everybody was coming up to her, like pictures and everything. I just had no idea. But Beautiful. I got to. Um, those were the experiences that really like made it good for us yeah. to like stay with it and keep going you know and you know what it seems like you guys are really grateful about these kind of opportunities you've had oh, yeah. oh most um, definitely and I, I what could you tell people that want to be music entrepreneurs in terms of that gratitude that that um that ability to know that you're doing something that's going to affect people and mm -hmm. be happy that they're receiving it yeah uh, sure. anything like that that you can offer well i think um i think one i think it comes through experience you know like um because it's like when you're in the beginning stages, it's kind of like you're just in this um, in this period where you're just in your room, like practicing, right. practicing, practicing, trying to get your craft. Like how many hours? Like Man. so many hours, twelve hours a, lot a of day, hours. Yeah. eight hours a day. So it's like, and then once you finally get out and yeah. like 
see it's like the impact of the people that you're playing for like yeah, yeah. and it it, it's, yeah. it doesn't even have to be a show like i played my saxophone for my grandma one time and she oh. cried so then and then, you know what i'm saying that's why i started like seeing the like, power oh, of like yeah i really have something yeah here, like right? i have something oh, going on yeah. like so it's like yeah. even like small stuff like that it's just like that'll that'll make it like clear for you Absolutely. you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so those are basically like the things that bring you the gratification you know what i'm saying that mm. shows you exactly like the effect of your music on right. people you know right so, right yeah. and i would love to know um and just just how much support did you guys get from your family actually I know being young, being in the music, wanting to start a business <laughs> kind of sounds like a lot yeah, for yeah, your parents. Yeah. Like, okay, right. go yeah. ahead, start right. a business, son. Yeah. So how did that work out? What kind of support yeah. did you guys get? Well, that's that's definitely like a funny topic because, um, you know, you have it's like certain people in your family like um, that are like the anchors, you know, and try to like help push you forward, mm. and then like the rest of the majority is like, oh yeah, I'm a musician, man. I, I produce music or I play yeah. saxophone. <laughs> yeah. And like, it seems like nobody knows what that means. Like, now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like hmm. a hobby, you know? So it's like kind of hard to like make people understand like what your goal is, you know what I'm saying? Like I've had com conversations with family members, like, yeah, man, I play saxophone and I produce. Like, oh, oh, that's nice. Like, that sounds fun. Like, right. no, I really place. I, I really produce. Like, like, I get paid to do um, this. Yeah, and like, I, yeah, yeah, this is, like, my job, and it's, like, I take it serious, and I'm, like, deep into it, you know what right. I'm saying? So, like, but it's, it's like, always people, it, like, it just doesn't make sense to some people, you know? Right. Like, so how who, can who you put... who did support you, though? Who were the people uh, that did back you on that? Oh, definitely, like, my parents. You. Yeah, my yeah. parents, uh, definitely my dad and, and my mom and uh, my grandmother, and then, you had a bunch of people saying like, oh man, you know, go get a regular job yeah. or have something secure. <laughs> right, right. But that was like always- well, I hope your grandmother supported you. Yeah, she definitely. was crying from your saxophone. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah. she was like the main one, like, go all, right. all in, you know? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Cause everybody wants to have like some type of security. Right. And like when you're in music or you're an entrepreneur, it's like the most, in it's no security. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, okay. you don't know what's on the other side. You're just going and you're just trying, you know what I'm saying? You're right. just trying to get to that point. And it's like, during that process, yeah. that's the hardest thing for like other people to grasp. It's like, you yeah. know it in your head, yeah. but it's like to relay that to other people, it oh, just yeah. doesn't make sense right. sometimes. You know it doesn't resonate. You know like people hear it, it, but it doesn't resonate with right. them. Like, okay, yeah. this guy's a musician, he's working towards Yeah, yeah, like, I totally get that. You know? And then what about your support though, also? Uh, sure. Definitely, well, me? my dad was always into music. My dad played piano uh, oh, professionally cool. and stuff and went to school for music. Yeah. Um, so he, I had big support from him actually, you know, Thanks to him, I he was the reason that I got really deep into music. Mm -hmm. um, I remember like my young years, like being three, four on the piano, yeah. bang, just banging out, just because I liked how it sounded yeah. and stuff. Because um, he was playing it, and I just liked how he played it, so I tried to imitate that. And he would take me to classes, and my mom would like help me with the lessons, and she would come and sit in, you know, because. Yeah. I, I didn't like being away from my parents oh, when I was yeah. that young. So I'd be like, come on, mom, come on to this lesson. Like, yeah. So uh, awesome. yeah, I had immediate support with my family and my brothers too, because um, okay, okay. Lawrence was playing, my other brother, my middle brother yeah. was playing yeah. bass. Um, and then Jimmy, my older brother was playing saxophone. So oh, wow. it's like all of us were kind of like inspiring each other in yeah. a way, you know, when we were younger, just playing. Wonderful. So yeah, and then uh, my relatives, you know, I had relatives that were saying, oh, you should, Maybe you should get a job. Maybe mm. you, you like money. Like you yeah. like you like money. Uh, yeah, they like, that, you know, you like money. Like yeah, you know, you see, to live. You see, and then they show yeah. me, you know, examples of like, oh well, this is where you could be if you had this type of money, if you had this type of job. Right. I didn't care about any of that because none right. of that shit was gonna make me happy. Yeah. You know, I only cared about music because that was like making me happy day to day. Like, like but yeah. I could talk to you guys for a while. Uh, first yeah, of yeah. All. Yeah. So let's yeah, let that be sure. known. For sure. Uh, where can we catch you? Um, well, Black Now, uh, Black underscore now. Black Now on Instagram and okay. uh, Facebook and uh, Shaw Sounds underscore. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, definitely. Uh, Facebook, just Dwayne Washington. Dwayne Washington II. Oh, the second. Ooh, the uh, second. Roman numeral, yeah. All right. Definitely. <laughs> um, Instagram, Chef underscore D2. Snapchat. Yeah, definitely. Snapchat too. Yeah, oh Snapchat. my, you yeah. guys. Are See, on Snapchat it. is important because yeah. like that's where I show my day to day, our day to day, yeah, yeah. like making music. So you if you really want to see us like make music. Throughout the day, yeah. that's like we're so. Fine. If you guys, yeah, if you guys want to know more about this great team, uh, musicians of entrepreneurs, please keep in touch with them. Thank you guys for being with us. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you. Definitely yeah, was a and we'll be right back with more. Let's be whole.